Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to design this motorcycle helmet in solo one. So let's get started. So for the first step, create this 2D uh, drawing on the front plane. I already put a dimension on it. Uh, you can use it if you want to. Or uh, you can use freehand technique to create this sketch. I just use a supply tool to create this 2D sketch. And again, create this 2D sketch on the front plane. And make sure it the, this point is connected to the previous point of the sketch. Uh, I just use supply tool and line tool to create this 2D sketch. And I already put a dimension on it. You can use it too. And again on the right plane, create this 2D sketch. I just use a freehand technique to make this sketch. And I also use a supply tool to make this cuff. And there is one more thing you have to uh, uh, be careful. Uh, this end point of the sketch must connect with the previous sketch. Let me show you the previous sketch. Okay, this is the previous sketch, and I already connect this end point with the previous sketch at the origin. So you have to also connect this end point with the previous sketch. So let's care of the sketch. And now I create a reference plane. Uh, my first reference plane is top plane. And I put a distance of 140 mm. Uh, the distance is not really matter. I just want a reference plane uh, at the middle of this tree cuff. Uh, you can adjust your distance to create a plane in the middle of this tree cuff. So the distance will be your choice. And now let's confirm it. Now on this new plane, I just created a three point supply cuff. I created a three point supply cuff because I have to put a relationship of uh, this three point and other previous sketch. This is very important. If we don't put a relationship of this three point and other previous sketch, uh, we may not create a surface model that we want to create it. So I put a relationship of this point and this cap uh, with the peers relationship. And also this is this point and this sketch. And uh, this is a also peers relationship and that point is also the same uh, this point and uh, this cap there is also peers relationship I already put it uh, you have to do the same otherwise you cannot create the service model that you when you create it and now is it the sketch and uh, let's go to surface step and choose boundary surface Okay, uh, let's land this curve. The first curve will be this one, and second is this one, and the third is uh, this one. Okay, this is the direction one curve. And now go to direction two and select this curve. Okay, let's choose some option from here. Uh, first curve will be normal to profile. And the last curve will be also normal to profile. And OK. And confirm it. OK, we got our first boundary surface. And now on the front plane, I just create this 2D sketch. Uh, I already put a dimension for the right sketch. And I use freehand technique for lower sketch and right hand sketch. And I also turn the right hand sketch to a construction line because I'm going to use this sketch to for the next step. And choose trim surface. And choose standard trim. Trim tool will be the previous sketch, uh, this one. And let's uh, select keep selection and I select this one and confirm it. And now select front plane and choose sketch. And right click this sketch and show it. And select this sketch. And click on convert entity. Okay, and now go to surface step. Uh, now let's get out the sketch and choose trim surface and trim tool will be this sketch and now uh, choose remove selection and click this one and confirm it and hide this sketch and again on the front plane create this 2d sketch i just use a free end technique to create this one and now go to trim surface and selection uh, trim tool must be this sketch and now 
choose remove selection and click this space and confirm it and again on the same front plane I just created this 2D sketch and I also put a coincident relationship of this point and this edge uh, you can see there is coincident relationship and I also put a uh, PS relationship of this point and uh, this edge uh, it is very important because I'm going to use a boundary surface feature uh, you have to do the same and now uh, check mark and is it a sketch and choose boundary surface and on the direction one uh, we need to choose this sketch and now the option will be normal to profile and on the direction one choose this sketch okay one more time and delete this one now select it again and this option will be uh, tangent to the face uh, you can choose another option okay I should uh, choose none and on the direction 2 uh, choose this upper edge and this uh, lower edge okay now confirm it And again on the same front plane I just created this 2D sketch and I also put relationship of coincident between this point and uh, this edge or uh, this point and this edge and I also put a relationship of coincident between this point and uh, this edge and now is it a sketch and choose boundary surface and select this sketch and on the direction one this sketch okay and on the direction two let's do the same as previous step this edge and this edge and choose a uh, normal to profile for sketch 17 and confirm it And now let's use offset surface tool and offset this face and this face and reverse the direction and offset this time will be a millimeter. I just offset this face to the inside and confirm it. And now on the front plane, create this 2D sketch uh, for the mouse section. I already put a dimension on it. And you can use this too. Now let's is it a sketch. And choose trim surface. And trim tool will be that sketch. And now uh, let's uh, select this one. Uh, remove selection. And click this one. And confirm it. and now use rule surface and the option will be normal to the surface and selection H will be uh, this H click this all H uh, reverse the direction okay now confirm it now let's use trim surface too and slam visual trim and slam all these surface and now go to second session and choose remove selection uh, this one will be removed and this one will be removed okay now confirm it now let's use offset surface tool and offset this surface uh, not outside reverse direction and offset this side will be 6 millimeter to offset this surface inside and confirm it 
Now let's create a sketch on the frame plane. Show this sketch number 12 and select this all and click convert entity. Okay, now let's hide this one and go to service tab, exit the sketch and choose trim surface tool and the trim tool will be the sketch and choose remove selection and click on this face and confirm it. And now let's use rule surface and this time will be 10 millimeter and selection is normal to surface and let's select these edges all okay reverse the direction and confirm it now let's use trim surface again this time select material trim and let's select this surface and this one too and now select remove selection go to second section and remove this surface and this surface and confirm it and now create this symbol sketch on the front plane again I just use a free hand technique to make this I just use a line tool to create this 3 sketch now go to service step and trim service and uh, standard trim uh, trim tool will be this one and let's remove selection this selection one and confirm it okay again create this 2D sketch on the front plane uh, just use a uh, tool uh, to create this simple sketch uh, you can use other tools and other shape and now let's is it a sketch and now uh, select boundary surface and now for the direction well select this sketch and this sketch okay and for the direction to select this upper edge and this lower edge okay and uh, for the first selection uh, this sketch 22 and choose uh, normal to profile and confirm it now let's use next surface tool and select all these surface and confirm it now on the top plane create this 2d sketch this is a simple arrow shape 2d sketch you can create any shape you want and now is it a sketch and now let's go to feature and go to curve and choose for that line and the sketch will be uh, this one and service will be and uh, this one and confirm it I already create a line which is normal to the helmet. I create this line on the front plane. You can create any plane you want, uh, not on the top plane. Now let's uh, go to surface step and it's to surface and click this surface. And now select this line and institution distance will be 2 mm. Uh, you can create 3 mm okay and uh, check the cap end okay and confirm it and you can fill uh, these edges if you want I'm not going to show the steps so do it yourself now let's use delete face feature uh, from the surface step uh, I'm going to delete these faces uh, this one and this one and confirm it and now let's use a stand feature and extend this edge 
uh, this time will be 10 millimeter uh, let's put it 30 millimeter and confirm it and on the right plane create this 2D simple sketch I just sketch a very simple triangular shape you can create any shape you want and now is it the sketch and now let's uh, go to feature and curve and split line and the sketch will be a previous sketch uh, those rectangular sketch and the surface will be this surface and this surface and select projection and confirm it okay now let's go to the surface tab again and choose a stand sorry it's choose surface select this full surface and I need to select the direction I already create a line for the direction uh, on the frame plane uh, click here and choose this line okay uh, this time will be 3 millimeter. this is quite enough and check the draft angle for 1 degree and confirm it uh, sorry I need to uh, edit this feature a little bit and I need to uh, delete original faces and need to cap the end and confirm it okay this is how I want it and now choose trim surface tool and the trim tool will be uh, this frame plane and remove selection will be uh, this surface and this surface and confirm it okay and again on the frame plane create this 2d simple sketch this does a uh, line and subline tool now let's go to uh, surface tab and trim surface and trim tool will be the previous sketch and let's choose remove selection and click this face and confirm it now let's go to feature and choose reference plane and let's choose this vertex and this vertex and the third reference will be uh, the right plane okay and confirm it and now let's create a supply on this plane go to sketch and click on spline and just click on this point and the second point will be here and right click and select it now select this supply and control it curvature and confirm it And now let's go to surface tab. Is this sketch and choose boundary surface? And the first sketch will be uh, this one. And second will be uh, this curve. And direction two will be this edge and this edge. And confirm it. Again on the top plane, create this 2D symbol sketch and now go to feature and choose split line and the sketch will be this current sketch and the surface will be uh, this surface and confirm it and now let's go to surface tab it's still surface and it's still this one and the direction will be uh, this uh, this line too okay uh, reverse the direction and it's to it to uh, 2 millimeter and check the delete original surface and confirm it okay now we need to uh, delete these edges so delete surface and select this surface and confirm it
Now let's draw a graph on the surface and go to supply and choose supply on surface and click here and click here and right click select it. You can control the supply graph if you want and is it a sketch? Now let's create a fence plane. Go to feature and geometry and plane. Select first reference for this line and the second for this point and confirm it. Now let's draw a circle on this plane. Go to sketch and select circle and click on this point and create a circle. Uh, put the dimension, any dimension you want. Uh, I'm going to use a free end technique right here and right click and slide it. And is it a sketch? Now let's hide this one. Okay, now go to surface tab and choose sweep surface. Our cross section will be this circle and the path will be this one. And confirm it. Slide trim surface. And now uh, slide major trim. And slide all these surfaces. And now choose remove selection and click here. And now let's uh, remove this inner surface, uh, curve surface and this flat surface and confirm it. Okay, and now let's use a planar feature or fill surface feature to uh, close this gap. Uh, let's use fill feature and slide this gap and this gap and confirm it. And one more time here too. Uh, fill surface and uh, this straight line and this gap and confirm it. Okay, now uh, we need to uh, nick the surface because we are going to use fill feature and choose next surface and click here and this surface and also this surface and this surface too and confirm it okay now let's use filler feature uh, filler this edge Well guys, I have created two more ribs on this surface uh, by using the previous same method. Uh, you can create two if you want to do it. And here is a sweep feature I have created on the front surface. Uh, I forgot to uh, record this step. So let me show you how did I create it. First of all, I have created this 2D sketch on the front plane. Uh, let me tell you the step. Uh, first, I have selected these border edges. And then I use offset tool to make this 2D sketch. Uh, you can follow the step 2. Now let's exit the sketch. And then I have used this projector curve feature to make line on this all surface. Uh, let me show you this feature. Well, as you can see, my first selection was this sketch on the front plane. And the second selection is all this uh, all this three surface. Let me select this again this surface, this surface and this surface and I confirm it and in this way I have created this curve on these three surface and now let's use sweep surface feature my first selection will be this circle and my second selection will be uh, this uh, part on the surface and now confirm it and you can apply some filler on these edges too. I'm not going to show it. You can do it yourself. And now let's create this simple sketch on the right plane. Uh, it's very simple sketch. I just use circle 2 and line 2. Uh, now let's go to feature and curve and split line. And sketch will be this sketch. 
and the surface will be uh, this surface and confirm it okay now let's use delete survey feature uh, delete surface and delete these phases and confirm it and now let's use rule survey feature and select these agents and this time will be uh, 3 millimeter and reverse the direction and confirm it and now let's use knit feature knit this all surface because we need to fill out this surface and confirm it and now let's use the filler feature uh, to fill out these edges okay filler radius will be 1.5 and select these edges too and confirm it And again on the front plane, create this 2D symbol sketch and just use line 2 and filler 2 to make this sketch. And now let's uh, exit the sketch. And now let's go to surface feet depth and select split line. Uh, my first selection will be this sketch and the second selection will be this face and confirm it. And now let's go to our uh, right plane. Rotate this one. And go to sketch and draw a center line. Let's use a horizontal line and select it and is it the sketch? Now Go to surface tab and select its two surface feature and select this face and the direction will be this line and the distance will be 3 mm and check the cap end and delete the original face and check nick present and confirm it Now let's hide this sketch and now let's use filler tool and again let's uh, choose filler and let's filler these edges And now let's create a tree sketch. Go to sketch and select tree sketch. And let's clear these edges. Or you can click on the entity first. And let's select these edges. And confirm it. And is it a sketch? And now let's create a uh, curve on the front plane. Right click and sketch. And click normal. And let's use supply tool. Just click on this edge. And this edge. And right click. Select. Select this line. And control its curvature. And is it the sketch? Okay. 
and again on the frame plane right click sketch and click this symbol point on the frame plane on this cuff and right click sledge is it the sketch and one more time let's create a 3d sketch on this cuff click this point too and just uh, click on this edge and right click select it and is it a sketch and now let's select reference plane and the first reference will be this point and second reference will be this point and let's that reference will be uh, frame plane and confirm it and now let's create a curve sketch on this plane go to sketch and choose supply tool select this plane first point will be uh, here and the second point will be right here and right click select it and now let's control this curvature Okay, now let's exit the sketch and hide this plane. And now let's use philosophy feature. And the patch boundary will be this 3D sketch and this 2D sketch. And the constraint curve will be uh, this curve. Okay, uh, let's create. and use tangent feature and confirm it okay we got our mirror shield let's change this color And confirm it and now let's use mirror feature and the mirror plane will be uh, front plane and the body will be this one and this one and confirm it and now let's nick all the surface Okay, we got our motorcycle helmet. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you do, please like the video and subscribe my channel.